Test one, two. Test one, two. Microwave, well. Forget your Hello, good evening, and welcome to the stream. Yes, we're live. Savik, hello. We're a little early. We're a little early. Yes, we are. There we go. Full screen as well. Netmal, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm quite a lot early, but I was expecting issues with... Um, <laughs> expecting issues with Twitch, but uh, it seems to be working perfectly well at my end. When I watch back what I'm streaming out, it seems to be perfectly fine. Ooh, Lauren War. Let's go and see if we can pick something up. We've got time. Yes, this is the old engine. Because we will be doing the raiding this evening, and the raiding works a lot better <laughs> on the old engine. God, that's dark. On Is that very dark on stream? It looks dark to me. Let's see if we can't make that better. -er. That a little better for everyone. Volkia DK, welcome to the stream. I boosted the brightness and then made, and then added a bit more contrast so it uh, doesn't look blown out. But yeah, it's really dark on my screen. And this is a very bright um, monitor, IPS, etc. I expect Lauren War is already dead, but let's see if we can get anything from the chest. If there is a chest, I can't remember. There we are. Don't actually have to click the chest, do you? That's not me that's opening trade. I am <laughs> left clicking. Oh, 
Do you have to actually click the chest door? <laughs> you can see someone with Lauren's helmet there. Incredible bomb! Anyone seen this before? Doing some PvP going on in Old Athens. This guy kept turning up by the backyard and shouting this. Uh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I've seen <laughs> way worse than that. <laughs> Someone had a, an ASCII image of... Um, Goatsy, they used to spam in uh, global chat and vicinity and whatnot. That used to be a bit of a thing back in the day. I know, terrible. Oh, I got a gift. Let's have a look. I got a Mr. Squeaky Lantern for utilities. But I can't wear it in social, unfortunately. Yeah, because people are stupid, not realising if everyone stays away from the chest, then everybody would be able to click on the chest. We can't stand on it, it's not a tangible object. You just go straight through it. What are you gonna do? <laughs> if you need to click it, stand, stand away from it. Good luck with those guys doing the box room in DB3. That's all I'm gonna say. You don't need to just be inside it. Just walk into the mesh itself, yeah. Well, I got a Mr. Squeaky. I got a duck. So I'm really chuffed. And I'm... Can it, where does it have to go in? Oh, it has to go in utilities. I'm not swapping any of those for it. What was that other one that just spawned? Lone Island in Avalon. Uh, where are we at? Yeah, we've got, we've got at least another 15 minutes before we need to make a move to the alien playfields for Hodor. May as well go check that out, eh? Avalon, is it nearer from Wailing Wastes? I think it is, isn't it, the Avalon one? And how is Savik this evening? <laughs> Have you recovered... <laughs> You can fix the grid, me. Oh, go on then. Yeah, okay. I'll go to Old Athen Grid. We both go in, Sav. You coming along as well? Yay! I'll follow you then. Which one am I needing? Oh, you're with Raid for All, are you? Okay. Uh, what floor do I want? No, oh, another one up. Tier four. Where the hell is Avalon? Floor eight. Uh, which one do I... <sighs> which is nearer? Avalon 8 left, I guess. Possibly the Whaling Wastes one might have been closer, but hey. Right, we want to fly to this island here, isn't it? Is that the one? Yeah. 
you took Wailing Waste just because it's floor three, so yeah, less um, bouncing around. Not a lesser Anun Terra. No, I might die. <laughs> that is what you call an aggressive NPC, that is. What level are they? They're like most of the stuff is like 50 and 60. I know it's in here somewhere just off the border. He's alive! Cerebin's alive! I'll go up and hit him, I guess. So how the devil is everybody this evening? You all well, I hope? Are you all good? Join up to... Well, I'm in Hodor Raid at the moment, not Raid for All, so... And... in. As soon as this mob is dead, then. <laughs> Managed to get a sigil on Savic. Oh, the... Um, one of these. Sigil of Bahomet. Or however that's pronounced. Quite useful for twinking later. Ooh, the new one. Ooh, drop me a tell wall in Storm Chat. See what it is. There you go. It has a rubber ducky that twitches. It's got little metal legs, or is it on a little raft? Nope. <laughs> Damaged cultist sigil. Treatment first aid for 15. Max NCU 75. Melee in it. Range in it. That's not terrible. For fru, but that's really useful. With all the inits as well. Yeah, that's, that's really useful. HUD 1. So you have to wear it there. What's the requirements? Level 200 intelligence, 500. That's quite doable for most on Froob, I would say. I want to know, is Cerobin sucking his thumb while he's asleep? Because it sort of looks a bit like it. Oh no, there's his thumb. I see it better now. Groog's list. Okay. Yeah, if you forget that you can actually see his thumb there. It does look a little bit like from here. Oh, such a hangover, mate. It's nuts. It is a good mesh they've added on him. I like it, the ragged um, 
cloak and everything at the back. Is, is he maybe constipated? Is that is that what's going on? He seems to be sort of all legs akimbo at the back and um, shoving at the front, you know. He just looks like he's had a really rough night. Oh, dude. Just, you know, try... Just going to tell you that your, your mouthwash isn't cutting it. Yes, dad jokes at a million mile an hour. <laughs> Guaranteed every stream. <laughs> like I can't help myself. Scroogs list, or Scroogs list. I don't know how you would uh, go around the pronunciation. Krug's list. What does that look like? Too much of a bother to equip, really. From the Christmas event, it looks like a no fix. Oh, a no fix. Cube. Ah, right, okay, so a little different, perhaps. So I need to uh, go and buy the other um, luxury apartments that Volpu do donated. I generally mostly play AO without the mouse. Wow. I don't think I could. Yeah, I mean, the way I move the camera... Um, when you when you're sort of doing things like that, it, it, the turn speed's not quite right. Whereas I can sort of do tracking shots and I don't know, maybe it comes from playing first-person games at the beginning. Oh, starting the raid. Join and go looking for team. I was going to say trade skill, implants, all that sort of stuff. Can Cancelling it's more of an issue. Well, yes, that's always the problem. Enzleric, welcome to the stream. As soon as this is over and I've clicked the crate, I'm going straight to Hodor. swap things in HUD 3 anyway. Uh, yeah, we do, so. <laughs> I swap on a lot of tunes. I, I swap between offensive and defensive on the fixer constantly in a fight. If I'm having a tough fight, like soloing eel or something, um, then I definitely do. Don't ruin my argument with facts. Yeah, if you look at my fixer, I've got um, 
offensive and defensive on the hot bars. Yeah, like I, I may do that, you know, just so, and then put that one in, and then just to wind Savic up, and you know, and put that one in as well. Okay, I'm still here. I'm on the box. Oh, I got something, I think. What did I get here? Sinister Pistol of the Revoked. Oh, that's quite a hefty um, boost. It's a crap pistol, though. Oh, that'd be pretty good on my crap. The damage is good on it. Look at that, 230 to 375, 200 crit. 1650, multi-range 1200, nice and low. Intelligence 35! Damn. Oh well. Right, uh, let's get back. Spank, 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 yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I just thought I'd bring the keeper for easy life. <laughs> Ah, Savik has, has come and joined us. <laughs> Get that alien XP, Sav. Coming on your NT. Oh, lordy, lordy. <laughs> I foresee much death in Sector 28. <laughs> Don't AOE in front of the Enforcer. Already AI 28. Netmal, it's okay. <laughs> Larry, have you leveled that NT yet? back the frubes from Cerubin and relogging NT is 2.15. Well, that's a bit better. Oh, have you got your um, Garrux explosive damage of Ubernus? Did you equip your shiny new thigh on Callisto? No, I haven't yet. <laughs> I really should. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, you don't need the DB quest except for the nano deck to cast Garrux. Garrux comes out of a um, one of the alpha or beta boxes, but you can't cast it without the um, without the nano deck. Gamble one 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 one. Welcome to the stream. How is the stream this evening for everyone? Is it okay? It was everyone was saying it was kind of patchy yesterday. And from what I saw, I watched a caught a bit of vods. It looks like Scott is back, or settled, or finished, kind of moving enough that he's connected to the internet, etc. Um, he was on, and people were saying there was a lot of lag on his. Yeah, and I, all I all I've done is pushed the bandwidth up to eight k. <laughs> which they tell you not to do. Um, yeah. He shaved his beard off. <laughs> Don't know why. Maybe he's just too hot and bothered with it in the summer. I get, I'm get. i starting to get like that now. Like, if I, if I shave it off now and just leave um, the stubble, by the time it's getting cold, I'll have a full beard again anyway. So it grows like hell. I, I cut most of it off in December. Um, we, I've got the pictures, haven't I? So I don't think I took one of me taking it off. So I think it was... Is it that yeah, that's December, just before Christmas. And I shaved it down to stubble then. Uh, and then... That was... When was that? Yeah, that was... Uh, that was April. It grown back to that, <laughs> so I, I don't, you know, when I, I I cut my my beard, I don't really think much about it except, yeah, be back in a month. If if I go completely clean shaven, um, in a month I've got a beard, like you know a short beard, but a beard. I've, I've let, I then become the new like one month growth on me is kind of that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably even less than a month. Okay, it looks like they have found a dock, so all good. Pretty sure I clicked join rain, but just in case. You are already in the raid. Shame that's no drop. Because it's, it's the it's like a bigger version of the one from Crypt of Home. It's quite nice. Only got fling shot on it though. Yeah, I've been trying out the Jobix um, Pioneer or whatever it's called, full auto pistol for Advi. I've had that on for a couple of days on the Lobby ad, Advi, and it's good as long as I re <laughs> remember to reload every time I hit full auto. Um, I've done loads of one bullet full autos with it because I've not reloaded. Yeah, when he moved house, you got to make maybe he moved in. There was no internet at the house, you know, and well, not enough in. He probably had it on his mobile, but maybe no, you know, to the door. Ends lyric, you is flagged. Don't come looking for buffs. You're flagged. How long are you flagged for? 
PvP enabled for four minutes. Go to the naughty corner, or you just you're gonna flag everybody. Don't bring a flag to the. Oh, oh, look, look, you're in the naughty corner, you two. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, we're keepers and everything else in team. They'll just sit you in your own teams. I mean, if anyone aggroes, I'll hit them. Good nod. <laughs> Is it Henshaw that was flagged? I'm not flagged yet, thankfully. Hencho is the flag. Is he is he patient zero? Has he been spreading the PvP lurgy? Do an inspect on Fars Medic. Can't see them. Ah, there we go. In the asylum. Ah, piercing evil and Slayer Droid Crystal Claw. That's different. That's a different kind of build. I suppose you can go for any on a dock. It doesn't really matter what weapons you use. You never do a lot um, of stuff. Never do much damage on docks. It's very good. It's a cool setup, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I respect that they've got something different. Go for that. Alien tank. Syndicate. And then, yeah, had to go for... Yeah, to make refined implants for the piercing. Yeah, it's definitely a why the hell not type build, isn't it? Right, rebuffing all the things. I'm waiting to see if someone puts together a high HP dock setup with the non-enforcer support beam. Eh, yeah, you never know. It still fires the 50k malice, does it? Oh, nice. Well, that just makes it, you know, prof specific, useful sort of thing, really, doesn't it? No, but I have two gamma repeaters on my enforcer. <laughs> it's just nuts. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the proc is on um, on the new one. I malice is is fifty k, yeah, but I don't know if it's the same. It probably does say, hang on, I think Rukemf has one. Yeah. 
Express anger, made to crush, made to rule. Element of malice. Which isn't I malice. It's a 215. Element of malice, not improved element of malice. So element of malice, if that's what it fires. Taunt for 10,000. So it's still useful. Yeah, the event drop might be different. I don't know. Could easily be different. Oh, what? I'm flagged. Somebody's aura. Where is the info? Where's the Engie? Fight target will typically proc off dots, yeah. Res cans on. Oh, I don't need them on while on the keeper, aren't I? So. Demodder is slacking on a database update on AO items. Well, they, you know, they're busy. Right, we're going to die in a second. There's no AI event unless we're told otherwise. Space Quest said they can't do them over the celebration weekends. So while the uh, birthday event is running, there won't be any of uh, any alien events. I could have just done the Darwin fence, couldn't I? Here's me swapping a hood.
you go. Oh, red shot gone. Only Saturday I'm at home, no AI event. I know, dude. They just couldn't run both at the same time, unfortunately. It's sort of, you know, you got to remember Space Quest is a singular person. And they've been doing it mostly, they had to get permission to do it, but they're doing it off their own back as something nice for players. But they've been told, don't do it over the celebration weekend because things will be busy enough anyway. We don't want people... Um, you know, crashing a zone or something like that when you've got, you know, all this happening on the server at the same time. It's that kind of deal. There's a limit to what the servers will stand by the way they're designed. Unfortunately, there are limits. And I'm flagged again. I just terminated to get rid of this. Well, this is off to a jolly good start, isn't it? I just go off, terminate, come back, and, uh, yeah. yeah. So for Space Quest to do the alien event, they had to get permission in order to do it. Um, and permission to do it is, is not permitted while the birthday event is, is running. So, unless we hear otherwise, like they make an exception or, you know, something such like. <clears throat> it is unlikely to happen. thing to think of is that the the AI events that that have occurred are in fact a bonus they're not they're not directly something Funcom is doing it's an arc saying well actually this would be really helpful for the game because AI is really hard to farm to get AI XP so if I do this wouldn't that be good and then everyone asked them to show up at the GSP event and do it there and then other people very vocal he said well you ruined that event because we couldn't enter the building and you know and it was it's like 
follow the good. No, the shoe is a sign. We must all wear one shoe. You're just dealing with mob mentality. You can't win. Vulpu, welcome to the stream. Carlos, no, I terminated, rebuffed, came back, and as soon as I zoned down, poof, I got flagged again. <laughs> it's not me. So, yeah. I even went to the trouble of terminating, rezzing, uh, rebuffing, and I zoned down into the staging area and immediately got flagged. I was like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> uh, I'm even going to run my proc, sod it. Pain, pank, what? Pank, kitan, kitani? Pank Kitani. Hello, everyone. Hello, welcome to the stream. Sorry for butchering your name. Just call it Pank. Okay. <laughs> Works for me. Yes, I like me a macro for Hodor. Running down to this one is way, way easier. <laughs> yeah, so we're all bloody flagged, Vulpu. <laughs> There'll be a new episode of uh, Let's Build Series 11 tomorrow. I just got to finish editing it tonight and uploading it. It should be done. Joe pistol now. I am, yeah. I'm cursing at myself for not remembering to hit reload every time I use it. It's only got a 10 slug clip on it, so it's like <laughs> every time I sort of go, Is it one bullet? Hey, Oh, <laughs> I didn't reload. Uh, it's just under a minute, so not, not amazing. But with the dog of war, it's okay. It's respectable damage for the level. I mean, the alpha will, like, one-shot stuff, if you know what I mean. Yep, 
Yeah, I mean, it hits like eight, seven, between seven and 10k with max bullets. You need 1700 and something in full auto to cap it, which is nearly double what you need on the BBI 1000, but you can't use the BBI 1000, so. Even if you could get to the skills, which I don't think you could, um, it's also got a level lock on it anyway, so. Otherwise, you'd be incredibly powerful at that level <laughs> with an 11 second full auto. Oh, yeah, that, that level would be nuts. My flag is actually dissipating, which is quite surprising for a keeper. Yeah, like one minute at that level. Four jabs now. Yeah, I wish it was quicker. 30 seconds would be nicer, but yeah, it's quite a high requirement. flag has actually gone which is bizarre as I'm right in the middle of everyone with procs running and everything and it's back again <laughs> it, it had gone and now it, I've got a brand new fresh one yay Just gonna have to do. Don't blame me, mine. <laughs> I blame the keepers. Don't blame us. Yeah, it would be cool if we could have the um, alien event as well, but not not for a couple of weeks, that's all. It'd be very cool on that new Lobi um, Advi, not going to lie. <laughs> it would be very cool. It was on the dock. Got to level fast with that. Did you tower? I think he towered. Everyone's done it. It's an initiation. <laughs> I've done it, I don't know how many times. More than a dozen, put it that way. 
done it dozens of, well, done it hundreds of times on my soldier, but that was deliberately to drop a tower. Be like, leave raid, attack the uh, tower, AMS, <laughs> and get warped out, hopefully before you die, and if you die, you die. Did you pick up your spongle today, Savik? Nice quick daily without having to go anywhere. <laughs> you did, yeah. You have to make sure you pick up an inferno, uh, inferno, a pandemonium doji if you come tomorrow as well. Still have one from a while ago, yeah. I think you'll be hitting 220 pretty soon, so it'd be nice to have that and do a double doja hand in for research. Yeah, exactly, but you, you're going to hit 220 pretty soon. I appreciate the chat delay. Bow box. And you've got Joe Doc for the other PS, I'll call it over. Okay. Ooh, Benson. And yeah, we come in peace. Did you get a Oh, he's died and doesn't want to continue. Okay. Oh, well. You know. Fair enough, he doesn't want to carry on. He doesn't want to carry on, what can you say? I'm so tempted to jump on that thing now. <laughs> there were, there's Space Quest said publicly on the Discord server that there wouldn't be any AI raids while the birthday event is running. And if there were, he would let us know. <clears throat> and he hasn't let us know, so... And for all, all we know, he's on holiday somewhere this weekend. And not near a computer that he could use to run the, the raid. So, very unlikely. We don't have inside information. We have public information.
So yeah, no, no AI event. The world boss events will be continuing as they're supposed to, and that's about it. Shame we've all got used to having it, but there we are. Daylights 97, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. And I can see you better thanks to the monitor you donated. <laughs> flag is about to go in one minute you watch it refresh from somebody else in team I think everyone else in team has got the bloody flag anyway Hodor yes it is the Hodor no field marshal we want this guy first Otherwise, he just heals the other one. To be fair, they <laughs> on a beach with blankets and everything. I'd not run for the controller either. Yes, Hodor! This evening, we're doing the, uh, the alien playfield, so... get these done. Savik earns more alien XP. It's all good. Totally lost on spirits. Yeah, you have to farm them or buy them. It's easier to farm them. If you got spirit siphon or if you got like a big main. If you've got a big main, go and find spirit mobs. They're in every single spirit room in the temples. Uh, go in and kill hundreds of them. Especially if you've got an NT, just go in. Like the, If you need lobby ones, Go to the Lobi nascent um, Elysium temples and just AOE in the uh, spirit room for half an hour, and uh, you'll have bags full of them. You get defensive ones, stat boosting ones, and offensive ones. They only get more complicated um, later on when you're making betas and alphas, where you have to combine several betas to make an alpha, and then upgrade the alpha with more subsequent. Um, beaters that are part of the beta group you use to make the alpha. It's only like an extra two steps on top of ordinary implants and symbionts to be honest. It's just getting them is harder. Right, I'm running for the exit. Yeah, so if you've got like a 220 NT, just go to the spirit rooms and just kaboom, kaboom, kaboom and go <laughs> bring bags. And just loot all the spirits they drop, then trade them to your your little shade, and you, you'll be good. I'm going to stand here and try and lose the flag. Ah, I am a submarine. <laughs> do, 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 do. In some way, trying to get a second weapon. Don't bother. Take your main and go get two fear forged blades. You'll put them on by level 25 on a shade, and they'll do you till about 60. I mean, they'll do, 
but with shades it's actually your perks that do your damage they're from steps of madness and da -da -da -da. see if I can get you a quick link The boss you want to kill is near the entrance as well. They are no drop, so... Has he got them all marked on AOU? Yeah, unrelenting fear d drops them. Noah being a keeper really gets on my nerves in APFs. It's all right. I think I did a um, a video getting them once, very long time ago. Yeah. If you want to diversify oh, your, God, why do I have to watch ads on my own videos? Hi all. Yeah, this is from May twenty fifteen. So awkward, Kalos, not feeling comfortable talking. And recording in his voice, so. <laughs> Over six years ago, I made a guide on how to where where they are and how to get them. Yep. I don't know where we're getting it from either, because it keep it it refreshed, and there was only me. And um, Rukamp, and he wasn't flagged. So where the hell it came from out here, I have no idea. Seems a bit suspect, actually. Like, is there someone hiding in a rock? Um, your absolute must-have is totemic rights. Is the mo first one you should be maxing. And the reason for that is it heals you as well as damaging the uh, the mobs. So it keeps you alive, hurts them a lot when you get to the end. Each hit is doing, you know, 9, 10, 15k damage and healing you for that amount or close to it. That episode I've just linked you there was the first sort of long form videos I did on Anarchy Online and it's called the Veteran Playthrough but in truth it's a let it's it's basically the same as a let's build except it's not it's before I developed the idea of a let's build that came a bit later The Yengi had left DV... Oh. Running and kept refreshing the flag on people who left the raid, yeah. Yengi love. <coughs> You'll find when that perk lands that um, you just don't die. <laughs> but the mobs do. Backstab you will get as soon as your sneak attack is high enough. I think it starts at 250 sneak attack. But yeah, Fear Forge played you want first. They are surprisingly easy to get on for a shade. What you will struggle with is NCU space. Because there's no comp lit implant on shade until you get the first one you get from the Adonis quest so you're going to be level 130 well at level 100 you will get hopefully a 1k board and therefore have a bit of extra comp lit but you won't get it from any implant because you can't use implants and there are no spirits below that quality <clears throat> uh, that give comp lit so <laughs> that's one of the things that said there was a time when Shades couldn't use token boards or regular armour. They had to wear the tattoos and have no token board, even if they were sided. That got added in later. Right, 
Right, my flag is almost, almost gone. I think it's bloody Engie that's redoing it everywhere. Hellgear, hello. <laughs> hello, welcome to the stream. Ah, the pollen is coming. Pollen's gonna get you. Do you know what? I had no hay fever whatsoever till I was about late 40s, and then I started to get it. Weird. Getting older is weird. I mean, you could use those. There's a couple that drop from Silvertail mobs in Nascence as well, which are quite good piercing weapons. I've probably got a pair of um, the shade weapons on my mule at the Storm Hangout, if you really need them. But we could get you a pair of Fear Forge blades really, really quickly. The respawn timer on uh, Unrelenting Fear, or whatever he's called, is like five, five or six minutes. It's really short. Keepers are not to blame. I got rid of mine, right, I got rid of my flag Right, I'm outside the space of any aura here, right That's way over 50 meters Team heal wouldn't get me over here I don't think, let's see what happens, it's about to go Right, not flagged. See, not flagged. So if I get flagged, it ain't my fault. <laughs> There you go, I zone in, flagged. You saw it on stream, it ain't me. He's not flagged, so it can't be him. Whose are these other chickens? No, it doesn't matter, it's a locked raid, so... God knows. Maybe Joe Doc, could be, yeah. Yeah, well the thing is, I came in at the gate all the way over here Everybody else was already there, and the second I went through that gate, I was flagged. Yeah, when I clicked, when I stood on the portal, nothing. <laughs> just can't win. The only way you could do it is literally, um, like, everyone leave the raid, go stand in the naughty corner until no one's got the flag and then reform the raid. But 
that would have probably taken way longer than is necessary so you know in the end Slightly the AOE blind. Spreads it quite easily. Because anyone who's not a teammate gets it. Because <laughs> their reflect bounces the blind and yada yada, it's weird. Who knows? Who knows who it is? I know it's not me. That's what I know. I should have gone and got some water. Can't go now. <laughs> we're we're mid raidage. I'd love to hydrate Savic, but that means getting up and getting water. There is no liquid for me to drink safely on the desk. I have liquids here, but pretty much all of them are highly toxic. <laughs> for cleaning things and such like. Mm, screen cleaner. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's the only liquid available. might be quick enough to do it in this cluster. Nearly <laughs> <laughs> fell over in the hole. Cluster, not a COVID one. No, aliens one. And cries orc one. Yeah, luckily the bathroom's just across from me. three steps from, well, like six steps from here, I'm inside the bathroom. So I just filled it up in the hand basin. Luckily, we have very good drinking water straight from the tap in uh, the area I live in. In fact, it's, the town's actually known for how clear and clean the water is. There's no fluoride in it, no nothing. See, what I don't quite get is that my flag manages to time out the whole way and then immediately comes back as soon as it's gone.
My aura pulses every few seconds. Yeah, I suppose it must be. But it didn't pulse all the way down that distance when I entered the playfield. So it is a bit odd. You know, I, I deliberately waited like 15 odd seconds before entering so everyone would be down at the gate. So as not to disrupt the raid because, well, it doesn't start until the rookie gets there. Um, but everyone would be at one end of the playfield and me at the other, and it's still got it instantly. Tron says they think someone was at the gate when I zoned in. It's possible. I didn't notice them, though. refreshing is very good yeah, we had a big takeout pizza last night after the stream um, and it's always like bigger than you can eat and, you know, really like probably four times as many calories as you should have in a day so I ate like three quarters of it last night and then <laughs> stayed awake for about an hour and went, I think I still need to lie down at about, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night or something. And um, that was it. Didn't know another thing till about four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Shut my eyes, I was gone. And then thought, oh, well, I'll do a little bit of, you know, stuff and all that. And then for lunch, I had the bit of pizza I couldn't finish. I eat too much for the uh, calories I expend in a day. So I'm getting chubbier, I think. When I smoked, I'd go virtually the whole day without eating. I probably wouldn't eat anything till 11 o'clock-ish. Like no breakfast, nothing. Um, and then wouldn't eat seriously until an evening meal and then just go to bed. Maybe that's why I had a six pack for 45 years. <laughs> Seen some weird stuff in this raid, though. We've seen the rookie fence himself that was just what <laughs> just walked right up to the fence and didn't click on it just walked right up to it and died <laughs> we, all, we all went did that just happen there you go brand new flag yay yeah I was on stream as well I think I put it in the ti in the timestamps. I put Athrox in the uh, timestamps. I thought that was quite good.
Halfway there. I'm just gotta survive the boss. What do you mean, take it easy? That's rather tongue-in-cheek, given that... <laughs> that actually was a bug in AO. Be trying to fight a mob and take it easy would come up. You'd be like, what? What? I don't know what the hell caused it or how they fixed it or whatever, but it was an actual thing. I think it even made it into a collage someone made of the game. Lots of bits of text and chat. And they posted it on the forums back in when AO was in its infancy and searching any item in AO would bring up several homemade pages with um, the, the correct answer. This one's always a little dodgy. I remember trying to heal Lens Lyrics then level 200 NT. <laughs> he snagged aggro. Dock, they could be the tank. That drone harvester, you die. Okay, though, folks, we're doing fine. Stills. Yep, here's where the boss goes on a bit of a... <laughs> I'll just randomly hit all these people instead. Yep, random target by boss. Nullity Sphere 2 in your face and mop. Uh, aggroed again. Yeah, I could see it. I could see target of target on the boss, so. I was like, ooh, no, he lived. 
thing is, if you use um, Izagimas doubles or whatever, you get uh, offensive focus and you can't use um, Nullity Sphere. <laughs> Man zoned, not sure if he is with us. Hmm. Grat Sabic on the internal adjustment processing unit. You making a belt? Right, I have no flag in a minute. So, grats again, Savik. Are you making a belt, are you, or some other? interesting item Ooh, excuse me I no business you did I've had plenty of sleep Ta -da. Nice belt. Subway done, killed everything except last boss. Good job. If you hang on, I'll take you to get some Fear Forge blades. We've only got to do this one playfield, so. And I think I've got bits of shade gear knocking around as well. So I've got some spirits and I've got. I think I've got some Lobie Shade armour. So if you needed armour, I've got that. What level is the Shade now, Daylight? What belt has Savik made? Sky Cannon, welcome to the stream. How are you, Heather? Savik has made. Let's scroll up. Zan's Viral Belt Component Platform. It's my favourite belt as well. With the green screwdriver, it up, updates to Zan's Viral. I think. Or is that the one you've already made, Sav? It is, isn't it? You, did you have the green screwdriver? Damn you. I still haven't got a green screwdriver on Kalos 2 or on the uh, dock. Makes um, equipping beaters, etc. really, really easy. I don't have the coloured one yet. It's currently running around with the red belt. Yeah, um, I think I wear the Stam Strength belt on my fixer just for a lower full auto because of the trickle down. Well, my flag is back. <laughs> it was almost gone, now it's back again. Answer to your question, I'm okay-ish, a little upset. Oh dear. Sorry to hear that. Covid rate. Oh god. It's been with us long enough now that people just joke about it without thinking about, you know, 
hasn't been just boring and whatnot for everyone. For some people, it's been devastating, you know. Maybe don't make jokes. <laughs> yeah, we call it STD in um, the UK. It means the same. <laughs> and yes, it does spread ridiculously uh, easily. <laughs> Well, don't be upset. Stay here and enjoy the chill. Someone tried to use STD for something else. <laughs> it's just don't go there. Looking, um, I'm glad to say I've never had the pleasure. And I have been around the block a couple of times, but still managed not to. Um, Mind you, I am quite picky. <laughs> so you wouldn't say I was virtuous or anything, but yeah. Redeemed hydrate for 100. Okie doke. Yeah, hydrated. get some fear forge blades for you after this uh, daylights won't take long steps of madness you can get warp to from ICC so it's dead easy I would pick up a vagabond cloak from the subway from the vagabond mobs wear that that's really useful at that level Four, is it plus 40 adult death? It's pretty useful. It'll probably be about 20 minutes ish till we finish this raid. Colonists. Oh, right. Well, 
Yeah, I'd be uh, kind of like that. I, that's what I did on the Advi. I went, yeah, screw the 40%. I want the XP. <laughs> it's hard to say no to it, isn't it? The helmet's quite nice. I put it on the little Advi to log in reward, so I made sure he got it. And it gives the same uh, XP as the uh, the helmet. You get more with the colonists because that's the new one, isn't it? It's the um, birthday offer. Yeah, an hour in the subway, yeah, easily. Don't forget your nano cans because it stacks with the armor. Oh, it's the one I have. Yeah. The the steam one. Yeah, stay with that. But if you get the, um, whatever it's called, one from the Daily Rewards, grab that. What is it called? I'll have a look in a minute. What's the new one called, Sam? What, what armour is it? <laughs> I can't even remember the name. Yeah, given it's it's the cost of one one month's sub, it's pretty cheap to have that for every character. And every new character you make and every old character you've got, once you've got it tied onto your account. It's pretty nice. Something colonist, yeah. Preserved, there you go. It looks akin to the armour in the game trailer that you get if you leave the intro movie on when you log in. Which, do you know what? I used to leave that movie on. I didn't know you could switch it off. I thought you had to watch it until I complained and said, look, I, it is great, but look, sometimes you crash and you want to get back on as quick as possible. So I said, oh, you just click it off. <laughs> I looked at the launch and went, don't! <laughs> And so I've been crashing in early teams and then like sitting through that clip, you know, <laughs> waiting to go back on. And then it wasn't so fun, but the first first couple of months of uh, seeing it and that, it was, uh, that is, that's kind of like, one was my friend saying, make sure you go clan, because my team was a clan. I was like, all oh, right, okay. You know, not not knowing anything about the conflict really from the beta. Except, all right, there's corporate side or not corporate side and not corporate side and a half, or whatever the hell it is. Um, <clears throat> so I was like, okay. I was leaning that way anyway, and then you watch the intro movie and go, yep, fight, fight, power, kind of thing. Only later you learned Omnitech are the good guys. They're the empire. Everyone knows they're the bad guys. Corporate greed over human life. Evil! Evil! <laughs> People used to say that in uh, Sota as well. well. You know the Empire are the good guys. <laughs> Trying to bring order to the galaxy. We're <laughs> like, no. You are not the good guys at all. There was a cool guild on the server I was on in Sota called the Mint Imperials. <sighs> because mint is slang for really good. Oh, it's mint. How's the car? Oh, it's mint. It's mint, mate. It's more of a southern slang word, but... Um, and of course, mint imperials are a, a thing in Britain. Oh yeah, Trousers is an evil, ominous spy. It's about the extent of my role playing. <laughs> rubbish at it.
what you find is when you play the game for a while, the people playing on, on the other side are exactly the same as you are. Yeah, Mint Imperials are... You, you can go a news agent now and say, have you got any Mint Imperials? And instead of being jars of um, sweets you bought for, you know, quarter of a pound for, or like a quarter of an ounce for, or whatever, um, you know, for 10p back in my day, uh, they come in a tube usually now. Yeah, they're called Mint Imperials. They're just really quite strong, chalky mints. But they're quite nice. But yeah, they, they called their guild, you know, the Mint Imperials. And everyone went, oh, I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> Here come the unicorns. With their matchy, matchy outfits. Actually, they do make this raid a damn sight faster, so... He's spawned? It has. Make sure you have the space in your NCU. Yep, yeah, there it is. Darwin Gate. Pets on wait. Enter. Warp pet. Zinzig, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. How the devil are you? Dock and the tank ready. Everyone else is here for decoration. Doing okay. It's one of the better days. Living with your now ex-wife is some sort of a challenge. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's not going to be easy. My last ex is a very long time ago, but uh, yeah, I don't think that would work for me. <laughs> You'll be sleeping in the car. I didn't have any kids with the last ex, so yeah. Anyone know the score? Oh, it's uh, football tonight, isn't it? I've no idea. Literally no idea. I know Wales are playing, I'm Welsh, but it's round ball. <laughs> Wales are playing rugby, I take a passing interest. <laughs> you did it as well, Daylight Sun God. Never had the pleasure. Can't say I'd want to either. Yeah, I think uh, me and 
Mrs. Gallus too are kind of stuck together now. We've reached that sort of stage where we're like old friends now. So we gossip about other people. <laughs> we meet someone new and go, do you notice they did the thing with the thing? And <laughs> it's like, yeah, they did. They did the thing with the thing. And like, don't like them, you know. No, I don't. They've got that thing where they do the... Yeah, they do the thing. <laughs> we are like a couple of old biddies. <laughs> it's funny. We know we're doing it as well, that's the thing. There was some, some girl at work was getting a hard time from this... Uh, and she was only a kid, you know? Um, someone attacked her in the supermarket because they didn't like the way she dressed. And she was dressed nice enough, you know, a bit goth, etc. But, you know, when she's in work, she just looks pretty regular. And she had a right go at her, and because she stuck up for herself, this woman grabbed her by the hair and, you know, and all this. And then came into where they work. Like, was trying to stare her out and um, all this. And I was like, <laughs> she was telling, the girl was telling me about it. And I went, where is she? And the girl's like, what? I go, where is she? She sat there with that, that bloke. And I went, okay. <laughs> and I just, me and Louise just looked at each other, got up and went and sat, <laughs> stood at the bar right opposite them. <coughs> and the guy, I have got quite a hard stare. But that's all I did, was just stare. Didn't say a word. I just had a complete poker face. Um, they got up and left and... She's apologised to the uh, to the girl. Unreservedly. Yeah, and I can manage not to blink for about two minutes. <laughs> so I did that. That's all I did. Didn't say a word to her or to him. Uh, he looked a lot more flustered, though. As soon as he saw me stand with her and Mrs. Kalos, too, who actually is quite good at staring as well. Um, <laughs> that's all we did. We'd never said a single word to them, and we wouldn't have done. Um, so we just... Paddington Bear stare, basically. And that was the end of it. They had no clue who I was. He was a pudgy, short arse, out of shape guy. <laughs> He's looking at me. I'm, I'm pretty big. I'm not massive. I'm pretty big, though. Um, and just that and my face, I think, did it. I has no flag. I've escaped the flag. Yay! This week is bad if you want anything from Hodor. Yeah, only the diehards are here. Except Savik's been doing quite well. As long as I get a few points, I'm happy. And I, I like the raids anyway. I like doing those raids. So I've got a belt for 500 uh, points. Parking. Nice, there we go. Helmets going for 500 points is madness. It's a single raid instance. Be wary of joining any new bots. Some of them are trackers. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Right, I'm going to log off here, let's see what you've got so far. 
Zind Keep, I see you. So you got the startup and the modified Viper. Okay. Right, I also need to log. Oh, how about Fumbelina? Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Right, let's check the frube. Mule. Fumbelina's going to get you the thing. Where the hell is Fumbelina, though? Oh, she's a. I'm at the war dog. <laughs> <laughs> because of course I am. Be right there. Right, logging in the little fruit dude. Checking some messages here. Okay. Oh yeah, should check one other thing as well. Just in case. But I doubt it. Yeah, nothing there. Right, okay, let's have a look in the through bank of win. I think most of this is high beast stuff on this character at the moment. Yeah. Come to Backyard 2, my Bags of Win Emporium. Okay, that's one bag of symbionts. Gonna run the NT over there. There's no need to warp, it's, um, <laughs> you can just talk to the NPC in ICC, and she warps you there. Show me the way of the Nalebi. Poof, right outside. Leon Nagul. Ever tried Raid for All? No. Um... Seen it, seen the, seen it spammed around. Uh, Sav was with him, which is quite cool. Right, I'm, I'm switched over to there. All right, first bag. No, I haven't checked the quality, so I don't know. Second bag. Hang on, I'll do, I'll do you a few bags. Enforcer stuff. Nanos. Yeah, flat roll is kind of interesting way of doing it. It's kind of the way um, Storm does raids on their own kind of thing. Yeah, Savick's been along. That's one. Is that one? No. One, two, three there. I'm going through bags on the mule you can see in front there. So <laughs> you guys can't actually see what I'm doing. slots have you got on your shade? Yeah. 
Right, take those bags so I can get some more out. Yeah, click accept. There you go, because I need the space. <laughs> okay. There's some OFAB shade armor there you might find useful for getting the Fear Forged on afterward. Bags are fairly random. Right, okay, that's all the shade symbionts I've got left. And I had hundreds of them, but um, I've just given them away. Once you've used them, they're not really worth a lot. The desirable ones um, I have. Right then. Come with me if you want to win. Join team and follow, basically. Right, going back to ICC. Can you get to ICC via the grid? Probably not yet. We'll go via the Wumper. Or can you get there via the grid? <clears throat> invite the Shade and invite Atreus. It's quicker. Okay. Are you already there, are you? <laughs> okay. Quicker than them running all the way to Tier, then all the way <laughs> to ICC, yeah. Go on then, Beacon is there. Yeah, MA's really good. Um, I've made several of them. Um, and they're, they're easy to play. You know, they're, the, they're, they're pretty chill to play. They've got two sort of modes on paid. One is using Zaz form and becoming a surrogate dock. Um, and the other... Hey, go loot the big thing. You want to come and loot this thing over here. Get yourself a Fear Forged Blade. No, this... Come here! Follow me. The blade is on the corpse, here. <laughs> Herding cats again. Right. We wait for the respawn and we get another one. Meanwhile, I'll just kill anything that spawns in here and keep you alive. You got a cat in the throat, as they we say in France. Cat in the throat. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Is that like f frog in the throat that we say, or something, or... It means you've got a cold that we can hear in your voice. I don't have a cold. Getting some irregular sounds. That would be the vape. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> like that. Yeah, that's a vape, mate. Piercing needs 301. You'll get there. Yeah, grab all the Leb stuff. Yeah, I can promise you it is the vape. <laughs> yeah, just sit tight. And he'll warp us back to the other room. Yeah, if I've got a cold, you'll know. <laughs> it's not subtle. <laughs> mm. Well, I smoked for 30-odd years. 
and vaping got me off tobacco. Um, and yeah, that's what it's there for from, from my point of view. So, Yeah, th this is it. I I left the we went out for the day and I left my vape at home, and it didn't bother me. I was all right for the whole day. Uh, I'll just stop. I mean, I can I can go most of a day without one anyway. It's just when I like to chill out and relax with a beer or something like that. It's when I feel the need. Yeah, you just you can just cut down the nicotine content gradually and you won't even miss it. Has he spawned or is that the same one? Same one. Should be up any second. Hit the wrong key, but don't worry. There we go. Yeah, now it's just like I, I noticed the change in my voice as well. Yeah, I tried patches, I tried the chewing gum, never none of it worked. Yeah, I think the the thing is with vaping, it, you've got the hand to mouth habit as well. So it it kind of it uh, it, it stops you craving because you miss that. You know, when you get psychological craving, not actual physical craving. But yeah, I did. I we one morning we set off, went out to somewhere. And um, I just plain forgot, left it at home. And then thought, you know, about halfway up the road, I went, oh, must have left it at home. But, I, you know, I didn't turn the car around to go and get one or anything like that. I was just like, okay. I think that's it for here, isn't it? Yeah, will over the craving doesn't work, but the, what's... Like I saw my doctor about it and they said compared to smoking, vaping is almost as good as quitting entirely in terms of health risk. BK, well me, my brother and mother all quit. Yeah, if you can manage to quit, good for you. Get off it. It's evil. It just makes you ill. And you don't even realise. You know, and it, it, it was kind of like um, within a month of quitting... I felt so much better. I was so much more awake, alert. Um, I could walk further. I could run further. I could lift bigger. You know, it just instantly way, way better. And, yeah, literally shit tons. <laughs> shit tons cheaper. Like, way massively cheaper. Not even a tenth of the price. Yeah, in the UK now, a packet of, like, cheapest brand, never heard of it, cigarettes will cost you nearly sort of ten quid. Whereas ten quid will buy, like, three bottles of vape, which will last me two months. You know. Yay, there we go. So you got those done. Nishi. <laughs> right. So, uh, let's have a look. Can you get any of these spirits on? Okay, generally speaking, you want to put defensive in left arm, left wrist, thighs and feet, and then offensive down this side. Head, head ear and eye, try and put in nano skill ones as and when you need them, that kind of thing.
many in here in Sweden quit smoking and started using snussing. You know, it's still tobacco though, so you haven't really quit, have you? Oh, snus, I'm thinking of snuff. Yeah, you literally... It's snus. I'm going to have to Google that and see what the hell it is. Because I don't know that. I think it's banned in the UK, though. It's in my oh yeah, it's chewing tobacco in a pouch. Yeah, it's illegal in the UK. It's exactly chewing tobacco. It's exactly as bad. That's going to give you throat and mouth cancer in minutes. Oh, Tara's up. That means Tara Daly on the Advi. <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's chewing tobacco, mate, and it's banned. Yeah. Imagine having to have half your jaw cut off. Who's a pretty boy then? Yeah, exactly. It's exactly chewing tobacco, I just looked it up. Chewing tobacco in a like miniature tea bag. Okay, I've got no prefs for this guy. Yeah, it's tobacco though, mate. End of. You're putting tobacco in your mouth. And you're keeping it in your mouth. It's the same as chewing tobacco, and that's why it's illegal in the UK. They tried to bring skull bandits over to the UK. They just got banned. Yeah, well, it's going to be a common cancer in Sweden with people <laughs> taking that crap. The vape is, it has nicotine in it, but the rest of everything it's made of is medically no worse than living in a built-up area. That was the medical findings of all the various bodies in the UK. But there's no long-term study, so... But it is 100% definitely better than uh, using tobacco. That's no problem, Daylights. I don't have anything in that level range to come play with you, so... No, it doesn't have a risk of collapsing your lungs. That's bull. That's total, utter hokum. And you know who gave that report? The one sponsored by... Guess who? The tobacco industry! <laughs> no, it won't make your lungs collapse. That's horse manure. You might as well say standing in a shower for five minutes is going to make your lungs collapse. Buy dodgy, under-the-counter, high-cloud, blah-blah-blah um, liquids from unknown sources that haven't been tested and approved. Well, <laughs> it's like sticking your head in a bloody chemical fire and finding out what's in there the hard way. Yeah, the content of glycerin's got to be extremely low for it to be illegal in the UK. It's 
Lung. Clicky and hand in. Yeah, so any anything to do with tobacco, whether you burn it or you don't burn it, is real bad. So those those chewing tobacco pouches are just as bad as chewing tobacco. Trust me. You, you're doing this. You're putting the same product in you in the same place. You're going to get the same result. Don't go for that stuff. Try vaping or just try going cold turkey or whatever you you got to do to get away from tobacco. But get away from tobacco. You know, most people when they die in a house fire or any kind of fire die from smoke inhalation. Not, not from being burned. Sure, they get burned later, but they're already dead when that happens. There's a reason smoke is bad inside your lungs. And this is someone saying it, having smoked for 35 years. I've lost some of the use of my lungs permanently from smoking. Don't do it. I'd think nothing of riding, you know, a hundred kilometres on a bike um, after work, just for the fun of it. <laughs> yeah, hot air as well, yeah. When you breathe in, it, it's that hot that it's actually causing scarring of your lungs. Right. Let's log back. Oh, well, actually, let's let's log off on, on here and then... Log in the pretty client. Yeah, if there's hot air in the room with you, then yeah. And smoke's usually quite hot as well. You listen to the end of a, like a, a filter tip cigarette and you can hear the salt peter in it crackling. It's bad stuff. Don't do it, kids. Don't smoke. Now I've Googled that. What's the betting I get ads for... Um... <laughs> Like all that crap. Luckily, Sweden doesn't have a lot of hot air. There we go, that's better. We've got all my uh, hot bars and everything. So, um, I'll just return to form. There we go. So you can see the new little helm. That's the one you get from... The daily login, that one there, preserved colonist helmet, and that's it on him there. It has the exact same stats as this one, which is the luxurious helmet. So this is him now. I don't, I don't want to show you too much because uh, there's a new episode tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, there he is. He's got that. And he's what he's using, as you can see there, Job Surveyor. Oof, we have a heat wave here. 31 yesterday, 34 today, 36 tomorrow, 40 on Monday and Tuesday. Wow. That, people would think they were on fire in the UK with those kind of temperatures. We just never see that kind of temperature here. Yeah, the chemicals in in tobacco were just mind blowing. Yeah, if anyone offers you a cigarette, just don't even think about it. In the UK, I think everything over ten centigrade. Yeah, it is. Yeah, ten centigrade is t-shirt outside weather. Uh, Twenty centigrade is I'm a lobster. Um, anything over twenty is I can't move. I'm going to die. <laughs> is where I live you're at near 100% humidity all the time because I'm right on top of the coast so the sea air comes in sometimes it's quite nice it comes in in the afternoon and it's like looks like a misty day 
really brings the temperature straight down. Sometimes it doesn't, though, and it, the humidity is just like 100% or something stupid. Um, and, my God, you just can't get cold. You know, even in even like in a draft with a fan, it's nothing. 20 degrees centigrade in my computer room, 42% humidity. I don't know what it is outside at the moment. But I've got a window open upstairs and the bathroom window open across the hall and that creates quite a nice through draft for this house. You live in Dakar in Senegal. Well, that's pretty hot, but the humidity is pretty low. Dry heat is actually quite good. It's like you don't feel the cold as much if it's a frosty day. You know, when everything's crystal dry, we call it. You know, there's just frost everywhere. There's no damp in the air. I thought that car was desert. I'm thinking of somewhere else then, maybe. Thinking of like the Dakar Rally and things like that. I mean, I know people that used to live in the tropics that think it's too hot here. Yeah, it looks like on, on on the map. I mean, the Gambia is pretty nearby, but Dakar is out on a peninsula in what looks like desert. The, the Google map, anyway, doesn't turn green until you get down to the Gambia itself. Yeah, it's drier. The further north you go, the drier it gets. As um, un <laughs> as unintuitively as that sounds, it is the case. Nearer you get to the polar caps, the drier it gets. Yeah, minus thirty is damn cold, but at that kind of cold, there's no humidity. All the water's frozen out of the air. It'll still kill you, <laughs> but yeah. I can't take. I'm all right if I've got a fleece and um, a barrier. Look, if I've got three. If I've got a three lay three layer system on, so contact layer, insulation layer like a fleece, and then a barrier layer. Um, if I'm moving around, I'm quite warm. Maybe it's just being Welsh. I don't know because we get quite a range of of weather here. I mean, I've been outside in minus 10. If the sun's shining and it's frosty, I'm I'm kind of okay in a t-shirt. <laughs> and then you get a damp wind coming in off the coast and it's like, ooh, my almonds are getting cold. Since I quit smoking, though, my God, I do not feel the cold at all now. My hands just don't, you know, normally your fingers get stiff in the cold. They just don't anymore. And sleep through all winter under a blanket, waking up for Netflix updates and, and only Uber Eats. <laughs> kind of how most people spent 2020, yeah? Yeah, something like that. Minus 40, yeah. Uh, no, where are you? I forget now, daylights. It's not actually that far north, but it's all to do with land mass, you know, latitude and everything else that comes into play. Because that's a pretty big temperature swing of 100 degrees centigrade, isn't it? You get nothing like that in the UK. Alberta. Where's that? Canada, yeah. 
Well, when I say, I say America, I mean like the the continent, <laughs> not not a country. Um, <coughs> yeah, let's have a look. You know, like American towns are so neatly laid out. But all the British ones are just complete mess because they they were built, you know, for horse and cart, not for motor cars and trains. Yeah, it's pretty much northern Canada, really, isn't it? Or mid, or is that mid Canada, really? Canada's not human friendly. <laughs> I think it is. There's a lot more space in Canada for activities like running from bears. <laughs> right, did I ding on that? I think I did. And I think I'm going to be going a little bit of this. My helmet is cuter. I agree it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to cap the full auto on that anytime soon. No, no, um, somebody sent me all those very kindly. So I've actually got more than that. They sent me all these to go with. So they sent me that one Dyna Nano and then that dropped in Sheol and then Dichotomy of Nature, Ballad of the Pistolero, can't use it yet. Need to start looking at nano skills now. Then Toothy Grin and Blur of Claws, all a little beyond at the moment. I have to keep changing my crate of ammo in the future because this uses energy ammo, the Job Surveyor. And then the dog of war uses uh, bullets. I was there trying to reload, going, why is it not reloading? Oh, God, no ammo. Why no ammo? It's right there. Oh, it uses energy ammo. Eli Hex, when I got a 150. Nah. <laughs> nah, I'm not doing that. We're not power. Power leveling. Because that would be power leveling. But if you mean running around killing Eli Hex in a team, one at a time, then yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah, if we're gonna if we're gonna like do it proper, then yeah, for sure we can do Eli Hex. Um, probably do it longitude and latitude. Tron B redeemed hydrate for 100. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, I want to get the next uh, Let's Build episode done and dusted, and then, then maybe we could do that on Monday's stream or something like that. Wise guy, FSB. Hi all, I've been lurking a bit. A bit. <laughs> yeah, 55.7 is pretty far north, even in Europe, yeah. It's outside sort of main Europe and into the colder bits. <laughs> Yeah, if I was doing like a, if I didn't have another episode to get done and dusted, oh mind you, I could do it on the stream and then, hmm, thinking now, well if we go off and do that now, I can only do it for about an hour, but that would probably be a few levels done just from that, and then, yeah, I don't know. It's a perk, isn't it? Paniti it spawns a bunch of extra um, pets. I'm just quickly going, a quick bio. 
Thank you. Where I live, it's like 25. Yeah, it's about that here. Like the coldest you'll generally see in the middle of winter is minus 10. And the warmest you'll see in the summer is maybe 22, 24. And we, we even moan about that. <laughs> Spring and autumn are my two favourite seasons, really. Because I'm walking around in a t-shirt feeling quite happy. And I see people wearing a variety of shorts and t-shirt. And then you see other people walking around with a hat and a coat in the same weather. It's really weird. Got a condo in Mexico. Is that with the whole lockdown and all that malarkey daylights or just not enough time when you're working? Yeah, spring and autumn are like when you go, oh, it's getting a bit warmer and you start enjoying the weather. And autumn you go, oh, I'm glad it's a bit cooler, but it's still late, you know, it's light till late and you can go out and it's fun and not too cold, not too hot. <laughs> This is your little alt running off over there. Oh, two week quarantine, yeah, pain in the ass. Well, hopefully most of that's behind us now, we'll see. Next six months will tell us how it's gonna go, I think. We could go and, um, we could go and poke a few hecklers and see how we do. But I don't want to do it with a ringer or anything. Yeah, I can't do that and work. Yeah, spend a weekend in Mexico and then two weeks holiday just being in quarantine. Yeah, it's nuts. But, yeah. Like I say, it's, we're not going to know how it's all going to pan out. Next six months should give us half a clue, though, I think. You know, if in six months' time we've still got quarantines and all that, we're probably going to be here for another year, if that's the case. Yeah, don't do it if you're learning a new class daylights. Never do that. If if it's a class you know and you just want to make another one but with different weapon configuration or whatever, yeah, sure, do it. But if it's a brand new tune and it's a brand new class that you've never played, I would recommend grinding, doing all the quests solo and yada yada and learn the class rather than suddenly arrive at 100 and people are asking for stuff and you're like, what? <laughs> Go into the rider. Is it Newland? Okay. September, we go back into quarantine. God knows. We were due to come out on June 21st, but that got kicked in the head because a new variant came out it's no more deadly it seems but um, apparently it, it's much easier to catch right this I keep getting asked how do I know Stella's got the buff without talking to it? if I click on Stella can you see there plus 10 in her NCU yeah little kids in the street being 
seeing who can scream the loudest, I think. Yeah, they're only little kids just making noise, basically. I need to start a metal band. Okay. Dark metal, of course. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the uh, musicianship. Let's see how much lag, because I'm on the new engine. Let's see how broken it gets. Will I even be able to zone there? My god, there's a lot of bodies. And I've still got brightness added to the stream. So let's... undo there we go everything back to flat not got anything I don't know with death metal a lot of it the singer sounds like the cookie monster to me not, I'm not trying to take the mick out of any music genre but I do feel like that's the case And I like it, it just kind of reminds me of the Cookie Monster. Yeah, it's a guttural growl they use. There's a flange beneath your, your actual vocal cords that you usually use when you hum, like... Mm. And they just practice doing that. And, uh, So it's sort of like that. Oh, Satan is gonna kill me. What's a cookie? What's a cookie? You know. Dark metal and glam metal is well, glam, glam rock and glam metal was that was back in the sweet, you know, like blockbuster and ballroom blitz and. <laughs> Kill the thing, and then I'm gonna take the the solo um, doohickey. See how that goes, and try and get the hood item that uh, Mahalik was talking about. Yeah, high, high pitched. Yeah, singing in the high voice. Yeah, yeah. That's just singing up behind your nose, your high voice, or falsetto. It's not straining your vocal cords into a twink, it, it, tw it, it, into that frequency. It's, they actually do produce that frequency, but there's no resonance to it um, unless you project your voice into certain parts of, you know, the, the upper uh, parts of your sinuses and passageways and stuff like that. Professional singers and everything can do it really quite easily, and some people do do it without even thinking about it. Um, you know, so you can change the way you, your voice sounds uh, with practice. Yeah, if you try and hit a super high frequency without um, just using your, your high voice, you will strain your vocal cords. 
but if you start by making baby sounds like like that, you'll notice that you do it behind your nose without straining your throat. And that's the basis of the technique, the falsetto. Not going ah. You can sing like really, really high like that. But all you're doing is using your vocal cords and making free, uh, all kinds of different um, system of a down singer actually killed his voice for real. Yeah, because he probably used poor technique and damaged his vocal cords. Yeah, if you go, you know, like the Bee Gees is just singing up behind your nose. <laughs> Staying alive. Staying alive. So I'm not straining my voice to do that. I'm just singing up behind my nose. I'm making the same sounds as if I went, ha, 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 staying alive. I'm not changing the pitch of my voice with my vocal cords. I'm changing the pitch of my voice by projecting my voice into a different part of my head. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's how yodeling's done. It's not massive strain on the vocal cords. It's simply that. Do I have to not be flying to get the reward then? His heart's in less good shape than his vocal cords. That does not sound good, does it? Yeah, he got the present. Right, what have you got for me? Vacuum pack desert armour. Yay! <laughs> That's actually useful. Well, the shoulder pads are. Right, Nomad Recall Beacon. Dun, dun, dun. Right, let's go Kitty Cat and Kitty Cat Aura. Everything else should be good. Desert Researcher. Die. Yeah, that's using the lower portion of your... No, it's not even using your vocal cords. That's... Um, uh, 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 I mean, I, that's how it's done. I can't do it well, but that's how it's done. Uh, Captain Anarchy, I think so. And what's this? Support gift wrap support beam. Nah. <laughs> yeah, well, you got your vocal cords doing na 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 and the other part of the vocal cords that aren't actually your vocal cords, they're a couple of flanges below them going... Uh, it's hard to control both at the same time though but you can you can learn you can teach yourself to do it full auto power <laughs> what we got uh, Ossifer's jacket yeah let's get some social crap um, and doctor action figure nano to nah Yeah, because we don't we don't normally hear that pig squeal. Yeah, that's again that's up behind the nose. Ossifer's legwear. We'll put some Ossifer's legwear on. And an eye patch. Yes, we'll have some eye patch as well. Yeah, the yodeling is. Um, changing them it's not actually changing your vocal cords it's well it, it is for the intonation and the notes in between but switching between one and the other statuesque body armor i don't really like <laughs> so i'm not gonna loot it are you a door the prison guard is he a boss let's kill him <coughs> Come on, dude. Become lootable. Uh, 
I got it. Don't need, I've got a full set now. Self deploying tent. I missed the boss back the other way. Okay. Uh, which the hell way did I come? This way. This is the room. No, it isn't. One of these was the room I came out of, wasn't it? Look on the map. Right, here's where I started. I can't go left. <laughs> I mean, go, go left from there, yeah? Desert field medic, desert prison guard, desert grunt, desert grunt. Are these the bosses, are they? Or You don't look so bad. Field medic, you could be a problem. Play claws. The ones in the elite armor are the bosses. Okay. I have done research, apparently. Wilderness Law 2. Am I high enough level to carry on with Gunslinger? Nope. What do I have to be for six? Ugh, I hate when it does that. 125. Oh, no, far off. Check out the spoils. Rusty carbonium. Yeah. Desert Nomad gloves. There's no point if I've got one of those, which is a complete set. Uh, ten. I uh, don't know. No. Ooh. Plastec Reaper. Mm, nah. Ossifers Digi Dummy. I'll take those. They can go on there. Let's see if we can get one set of armor from doing it. I always come again another day and do it again. Okay. Reload. No, oh, I think I'm stunned. Doesn't help you though, sir. There won't be any AI raids this evening. Elite Desert Armor Sleeves. Strength and Stam. Got better gear than that already. And some action figures. Okay. So that was one boss, I take it. Yeah. Not while the um, anniversary stuff is going. It'll come back, don't worry. You know, the anniversary is only a few weeks, and then, you know, you can carry on. Donk. Donk. Yeah. Put some time in on the bag, man. Let's have a look. What do we got? One shot. <laughs> Reload. Yeah, the most that you can hit with is 10 bullets, which are anywhere from 7 to 10k. Got it. Don't want it. Got it. Kind of got it. Yeah, you'll catch up, don't worry. Okay, Desert Grunt. What have we got here? Replica Hell Fury Assault Cannon. I'll go and get a real one. Um. Or is that one that you can wear socially on any class, maybe? Maybe maybe I should get that, what do you think? Have I got space for this stuff? Yeah, it would be nice if you could do that, but... Um, as we speak, no, you can't. Dual wield as well. <laughs> might, might just have to do that. Um, just for the lols. 
ten bullet full auto. He's still alive. The other one's wondering what the hell just happened. He's figured it out, boys. Oh, those freaky masks. Damaged lamppost. Fuzzy I've got. Let's see if we can get another one then. And we'll, we'll go out and dual wield it. <laughs> Wait for people to go, what the hell have you got there? Uh, got that. Don't want it, don't want it. Okay, I'm assuming there's Desert Warden is a boss. Right, let's be cautious. Let's pull them out of the room. I'm pretty sure I've been in this room before on a different character. Maybe the agent I did it on? Ossifer's helmet. Didn't I get one? Oh no, the eye patch. Maybe I want that as well, just in case. Nope, not a real door. Okay, this is the way we're going. So he's like the boss, is he? Okay, reload. Reloaded. On full death as well. It hits quite hard for his level. Yeah, it says left hand or right hand. It might be quite amusing to do that. I think we could risk going to 50% on the aggro bar, given we don't have a lot of in it. Yeah, elite doesn't pants. Elite. Nah. <laughs> he died so quickly he just didn't bother lying down yeah it, it spawns at your level some of the hammerhead statuesque leg well I found that on a tomb before and when when I wore it I wasn't keen it just looked too creepy okay you dead Ah, yes, I have been in here. I remember this room. Eye patch, more of the same. Oh no! I has to do damage. Quite cool, though, you get your own little uh, playfield to goof off in. And everything that spawns is your level. The coming soon t-shirt. Yeah, go on. I need... I should have brought more bags. Desert what? Commander! You're doing the solo dungeon on your shade. <laughs> yeah. You can actually raise concealment really high on shades. Oh, he was the boss, was he? Elite desert armor gloves. 25 nits and, and whatnot. That's pretty cool. Rusted card bunnium. All cool stuff, but I don't really want it. I'm spoiled with the other armors. Where did you come from? Death by Brawl. Ooh, what's that? Beautiful ribbon bow. Archaic oh, mere handbag. A handbag! Don't think I want a handbag. I 
don't think you can get to the NPCs inside here, can you? Can't click them or whatever. Is that all of it? I think it is, isn't it? It looks like there's an, there's actually an other door over there, but you can't get to it, as far as I know. There's one more boss. Where is he? Oh, we click the beacon and get the ninja bot. Okay. Okay, reload. And... You will die, ninja bot of doom. For I am a big cat. This one has the best chance for the wen wen. Okay. We reckon the wen wen's best in slot at this level. Sounds good. Shoulder pad. Gloves. Prototype sentry. Go away. I'm looking at the loot. Funky Afro. I think so. I got my Blade of Keown's Will equipped. Nice. They are good, actually. Especially when you uh, upgrade them. A heckler shirt, gloves. So he didn't drop it, but never mind. Still quite cool. So I click this beacon and I leave, do I? Fast Leaf County, country, redeemed, hydrate. How are you doing? I haven't seen you for a while. Thank you very much. I will. That's an extra 5% in slot. I'm guessing the beacon's now gone. It has. It was there. It is gone. So are we going to try a few hecklers for a short time? Coast of Peace boss is up. Uh, could give it a go. Go visit anyway. Making my own. <laughs> Blaming me for it. Yes, I know how it goes. I saw Kalos make this video. Savik says, Good night and thanks for the fun stream. You're very welcome, Savik, and thanks for coming along. Coast of Peace, you say? Yeah, we'll go have a look at him and then call it. Believe it or not, I'm actually tired. Is it, is it like I've had too much rest? Right, so he's all the way what in that crater over there. Big D five thirty. Good day, Carlos. Good day. Welcome to the stream. There shall be boss murder on the coast of peace, says Dirtpool Chris. I believe that there will. Yes, good night. Savik is off for her buble bath. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did the Hodor rain. It was just like one flag after the after the other, for some reason. Just one of those. Everybody, I don't know who brought the flag originally, but yeah. It is a long ass way, isn't it? <laughs> Yes, it's the Michael Bublé bath. Michael Bublé runs the bath to the perfect temperature and bubbles, uh, lights the candles, sets aside the glass of wine and chunk and bar of dark milk chocolate, uh, and then stands in the hallway respectfully, crooning his way 
<laughs> through entertaining ballads. Well, Savic relaxes for the day. I'm getting that buble feeling, yeah. <laughs> So on the Desert Rider one, I'll try and get that when-when then, if it's an extra 5% XP. That's better than, you know, anything like I've got at the moment, anyway. There is the boss, can't even see him yet. Is he due to spawn? Oh no, there he is. A mouse. kind of weird like where does the food the food goes up into his stomach here comes down another pipe and then it's kind of a cool cod piece but yeah <laughs> it's best not to try and make sense of these things I mean you take you take the if you take his balls away, he hasn't got anything to fight with, really. He's just got two clubs. <laughs> got to get working on Keeper. Just hit 60 the other day. It's so easy to level these days. It's unbelievable. That has grid space. Freedom. I think I'll make myself a drink while we're waiting for this guy. It'll only take me a couple of minutes, guys. So I will be right back
Right, I'm back. What have I missed? Tron went from 60 to 170 of my dock today. Good God. You have been busy. My friends in core have been great. Oh, you've been kite team, that kind of thing. Been too long with NT, yeah, Kite Hill. <laughs> Our mouth is deaded. Let's go stand in the box. Support beam of malice. <laughs> cool. Got to be at trucks to wear it though. I wanted that. I know it's pretty bloody nice. Look at the damage on it. 415 to 590, 300 crit. That's pretty nice. It's a little slow, but it is two hand blunt, so you got sleeves of the eight. I think Sav got the full set of uh, thing by the eight. Thousand to health. Element of Malice, which is a 10k taunt, so it's not terrible, is it? Okay. That was pretty cool. So yeah, this is where everybody is running around on their alts, getting the free stuff. You can't blame them. My fixer now has three defilers. <laughs> you wanted the gamma. I got the gamma. I don't think I've got it with me though. It spawned when it, on one of them, I can't remember now. Not in that bag. It's probably in the bank now. I wouldn't have been walking around with it, really. And the engine's just choked on me. Anyone for inf missions after APFs? Mistel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're on a raid. Yep, it died. <laughs> So at the moment I'm saved in Sheol, so if me and Noah are going to go and bonk a few um, hecklars, you have the game and the stream side by side, so do I. <laughs> yeah, just one of those random crashes, right, in which case I'll go back to Shadowlands. Lose my grid space, never mind. If I can get three levels, then I can put the um, 126 HUD items in, can't I? Big bird. Decisions, decisions to level one tune today or get all my tones through the first specialization today. Well, first spec is dead easy. <laughs> dead easy to farm as well. In fact, you can buy spec one off GMI. It's not no drop anymore. Spec two, easiest way to get it. Do all the Yutto quests and get a ton of XP at the same time. Um, so yeah, second isn't too bad, just kill the sided mobs and pump pump, or do the Yotto's quests and get most of the books anyway. Mara and his father, there's like five minutes of killing mobs at a, at a, 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 a temple, yeah. Yeah, third, do the Adono brain, and you've got 
spec 3, do penumbras and quest, you've got spec 4. Oh, the howling minx. Oh wow, some of the stuff's still green. That's cool. When are you thinking about starting the Adono quest? Possibly Monday. Because you need to be 1.30 to get started on it, really. As soon as the game lets me into um, Adonis, I'll be making a start on it. <clears throat> I want that brain, and I want it now. I could probably equip it now if I had it, except for the level lock on it. I could get most of the way to 150 just doing the Sheol quests right now, but I think this time round I'm going to save those for, I don't know, maybe save them for research. So have to be one thirty by Monday. Doable. Don't laugh, it's doable. I've not heard from Noah. Oh yes I have, there he is. Port seven, okay. Hello, wonderful Job. Just let me give you money. I know how much it is. Have 10k, my good man. If you have a free spot, I'll help on a 150 dock or 170 a shade. Ah, oh, nice. I see another Tigger. Right, get out a sparrow. I'll go Tigger as well. My nano skills are kind of crap though, I've got to say. Londis, welcome to the stream. Have you got like a 120 to 150-ish tune? Because we're, <laughs> we're going to try killing hecklers. Your baby Angie. Go get your baby Angie to port seven. You know where we are. Trouble is, there could be someone kiting, so we don't know. Nope, doesn't look like it. Because these would be way more lively. Okay, that's a lot of XP. We'll see how many want to come. You need to be in level range. I don't want to ring her. Or, or whatever. <clears throat> Actually, he's doing surprisingly decent damage on these. 122, that's level range, yeah. God, no! God's gonna kill stealers.
You're not fighting the guard, are you? I don't know why the guard's aggro, but go zone. <laughs> yeah, the guard's a different kettle of fish. Yeah, we're gonna did slight slight fly in the ointment. The guard decided to aggro us at the moment. <laughs> Yep, attacked by guard, attacked by guard, and God knows why. Londis, where are you? I don't have the lead. That's you, I know. I saw you in guild chat. He's a, another Advi. Yeah, I'm out of combat. Right, so invited those. Ends Leric. Do you want to come and do a bit? Oh, hello. No, someone is kiting. Uh, they've been decent about it, at least. Yeah, I want people in normal level range. We're doing okay, though. I didn't even notice he'd started on that one. We'll go south, yeah. We'll go down and around, you know, to the other beach, maybe. Experience stuff on. There we go. Yeah, if you've got, if we're all like one twenty-three, one fifty, so it's all cool. If you want to come, ends Larry? Just hit LFT. I'll grab you. Come in handy if we get a messy pull to have someone who can heal a bit better. Well, hello there. I need better heals. Mine are a bit weak, I think. He said slipping his tea. More the merrier. So I'll I'll hold off posting this stream till after I've posted the next actual episode. Otherwise it'll be very confusing. Yeah, have it. Oh. I think I just did a one bullet full auto. Yay. It's Londis. Should be clean towels in the iron cupboard. Ding, one, two, four. on the beach with the M4, let you have a water area. Oh, right, okay. And another team on beach. We'll do water area. Yeah, there's no, no sense fighting over them. Do not have the heels I would like. 
I don't have the healing the of advies of old. Might actually be better if I go wolf and do the um, the wolf um, aura, and then the other two are doing the damage aura, and we get all of them. You know, like keepers share auras and stuff. I still can't find the kitty nanos. It says the Rubicar store, but not finding them. It's a bit like when you get two keepers in a team, you may as well have one running flecked and the other running deaf. Because everyone's getting both then. Hex the way they were meant to be done. Although we do abuse it. We all do it. We all get a unlock our big 220 enforcer get an NT is that a broken one I think it is isn't it yeah no line of sight we have the broken hecklers upping my guardian research because I don't want to run all the way to uh, Ergo trying to get to Adonis and not have enough uh, guardian faction. That's a bit better. Okay, we got three now, guys. Don't get cocky. <laughs> That's when it all goes wrong. Where are we going to make the line for the other team then? Sort of this house, really. Maybe a few stragglers near it. Stop about here. Don't go any further because there's another team there. And they'd probably come up this far. I would if I was coming up from the beach. Yeah, I think they mean this bit as well, though. Don't they? I don't know. See what they say. I'm on the beach with Enfo. I'll let you have the water area from beach to Pier 7. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. From the beach. Okay, dude. Yeah. Well, you want to keep it friendly, not we? We want to kind of go, okay, share the, share the mobs. They respawn fast. You know, everyone can have fun. Yeah. 
the koalas up there. None of the outer ones spawned in. Always like this, you run out and it just gets darker and darker and more and more scary. Until you're stuck swimming. Yeah, maybe they came up this far before and they've sort of said, oh, well, you can have it now. Dunno. Not seeing any, though. Because that's the... I call that the beach. Yeah, going back to the start, I think. I have gotten onto that island as well. <laughs> Just to see if I could, I, I managed to do it. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> Just a random area. There's an MA up ahead. Gam Lee, is that one of yours? Okay, that's the last slot done then. Gam Lee! <laughs> the hell did you kill? Ah, uh, guys, there's one here. Guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw another one just. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, one, two, five. Yay. Shadowlands, where you find out, no, actually, you do need duck XP because you're fighting a heckler. Somehow it makes a difference with them. Back to the light. The dark is the scary. Oh, no, there's another one there. many thousands still play? Oh, probably not more than two. <laughs> probably two thousand, maybe. Wide awake board. Yeah, it's surprisingly populated for its age. Hard to say for sure. Only Funcom actually know. And they're not saying. Don't go off fighting them on your own. in the gloom and the scary darkness fighting the scary mobs or we could just sort of like you know <laughs> night vision recharge reload rather full auto in the face ow big heckler punch in the face yeah, enough people play that it still makes money. I mean, ignore uh, the Steam chart thing, because the game doesn't actually log. Um, the players... Because well, 99% of the player base doesn't use the Steam client, and those that do, unless you make a deliberate change to the launcher options on Steam, it doesn't log your time in-game anyway. So it's, it's zero reliable. It's a small number, but... Oh, no, just tabbed the wrong one. Go me.
That's <laughs> my style. Looking at the chat tab cube. Oops, no, wrong mob. Yes, I'm on the Loby. This is a Loby tune of mine. I think my lowest tune, other than like bank tunes and things like that. My lowest play tune. Yes, I need to get some better first aids. Bigger nano pool. Three bullets? No, let's reload. For the next one. There you go, that's a bit healthier. <laughs> Ten bullet. Yeah, the exact figures never really discussed, but enough people, yeah, enough people that the game makes enough money to carry on running. Otherwise, yeah, they would have got rid. Definitely. Uh, who's in there? Don't know. Reload. Full auto. Still a minute reload on the full auto, but hey, it works. Oh, there goes the amp. <laughs> 220 Enforcer pulling for a kite, I think. Yeah, it will be. Hey, oh, going strong. It is, actually. It's the 2020 or the lockdowns of 2020 had uh, an unpredicted effect which was people being at home went what was that game I used to play 20 years ago and a lot of them old players logged back into game over 2020 and, uh, and went wow I'd forgotten how, how awesome this game actually is to play uh, and yeah they've they've stayed even though, you know, a lot of the lockdowns have been lifted globally in different countries. Um, people are like, nah, you know what? This is this is cheaper and more fun than going out. Now we're older, you know. I have to stay in with the kids because she's going to yoga. And I'll get a few hours of AO in well, after the kids are in bed. You know, whatever. You can, you can imagine hundreds of scenarios, right? Um, so, yeah. A very brightly lit person whizzing past us there. Can we get either of those? That one there is permanently stuck, isn't he? You're always welcome for the light. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> like, man. <laughs> Someone can be seen from space. <laughs> it's like keeping up <laughs> with the Griswolds or whatever that show, that movie was. I just remember, but he plugs in the lights he's put up and like the whole city grid goes out. I just thought it was hilarious.
the other thing with the Joe pistol, it only has a 20 meter range, and if you're using it with another pistol that has 25 meter range, you can think you're in range because the ends of the bar turn red, but you can't attack because you're not in range and you're like, ah. Oh. Mindless heckler killing for the win. I'll do one more. I'll ding one more time and then. Yeah, I'm going to call it for the stream. It's getting late for me here. Yeah, that pistol definitely. Yeah, exactly. I need, I want to get all those put on because <laughs> they're they're definitely um, preferable. I've got all the other stuff for the utilities as well, just knocking about in a bag, all ready to go. I might be. I think the bag's on the dock because I think they were the last tune to ever use them. done some research as well apparently that oh, must be the other team there yeah it is all right I said I thought they'd probably come round daylight's all right I'm off have a good day night everybody we will well we'll try See if the others up here have respawned. When is your next stream? It will be tomorrow, but it'll be Hodor again. It's kind of a long one on Sundays, because uh, you get... Um, you do iPand, RealPand and Sector 42, typically. See you later, Daylight. Always a pleasure. Bling! Uh, aliens would have been running for at least 50 minutes by now. But uh, it's not. Right, guys, I'm going to say thank you very much and leave a spot in team. I'll leave Noah in charge. There you go. All right, just a couple more. <laughs> Famous last words in anarchy, innit? Just one more. 4 a.m. Oh, my God. I'm up for work in two hours.
Just one more. And the birds are singing. Yeah. Oh, God, I gotta remember those days only too well. I keep going till I can run up the ramp without being chased. Otherwise, it just spoils it for everyone else. There was that little Engie, isn't it? <laughs> just one more is my life story. Yep. How I Met Your Mother. Just one more. <laughs> Twisted was here. Welcome to the stream, I'm afraid, my friend. We're just at the end of the stream here. But nice to see you all the same. In some alternate universe, you were disciplined and went, no, I won't do it. And then you got into a car wreck that morning instead of being late for work. Who knows? <laughs> it's like Twilight Zone. Life is just so completely unpredictable. And I, the, the older I get, the more I kind of see it. Um, dun, dun, dun. You don't know. You don't know. Some of the most innocuous decisions we make can have huge ramifications, and yet we're completely unaware of it. I can think back on decisions I made on the spur of the moment that would completely change my circumstances today. Definitely. You know, on, on virtually the flip of a coin, I decided to leave London. Now, if I'd have stayed there another year, I would never have uh, met back up with uh, who is now Mrs. Kalos too. God knows what would have happened, but it wouldn't have, you know, wouldn't have been that. So, yeah. You're the only version of you that can exist right here and there. All the other ones didn't make it. <laughs> Right, thank you very much, guys. Good plan, uh, Noah. I'm going to go running up, leave team. I just saw another Advi at the top. I don't know who that was. Oh, it's you. <laughs> are you fixed at 150, are you? Nyong, nyong, parrot. Nyong, turbo. Nyong. <laughs> Where do I go if I jump off here? I can't remember. Nyong. Nyong. Let's try and get that ship closing in. Gonna get him. Gonna get him. And we missed. <laughs> so, where where do you think we are? Wow. <laughs> Miles from anywhere. Right. Let's go back to Tia. Kind of figured it was near the end since you're, yeah, a little, little lobby, Advi. Uh, there'll be a new episode, which will be live tomorrow. Um, and then this will go live after that, because otherwise it'll be too confusing. 
it'll all be timey-wimey or what have you. Need to remember to save tomorrow. <laughs> Don't want to give too much away. It's not actually a bad place if you're doing the DB quest. Yeah, it's quick, isn't it? Hopefully you've got a... Um, uh, you've got a fixer ready for the DB quest. Otherwise, yeah, the tower tag is a bit of a pain. Right, I'm going to go and do that. Whom else is Anarchy Onlining? Let's have a look. Yes, Twitch, I know I'm streaming it. Yes, Twitch, I know I'm streaming it. Yes, Twitch. Don't do that to me. Uh, there's me, Bugs Funny. We did him yesterday. Hector AO. Okay. We'll go raid Hector AO. We stand here in defiance. Oh, you can screw that advert off. Right. We're going to go raid Hector AO. He's playing AO. I don't know what he's doing because I'm looking at some weird advert at the moment. I really don't want to watch. Okay, she's hung up some art, something about logic, lots of people posing, looking into low, oh, logic, it's a Logitech advert. Okay, he stood in Omnitrade doing things. Right, okay, enjoy, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye for now. That's my